Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did not know what to film, so I decided to film a drugstore and makeup tutorial. Um, so without further ado, um, let's get into the video. So don't mind my little dot here, it's a pimple. So for the first thing that we're going to do is prime our eyelids. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Meglo Makeup Stick. Um, this is the concealer in the shade You're a Natural. So I've been using this as a primer for my eyes. So I'm going to use, use it today. spray my beauty blender um some water and I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty looks natural so so for my videos I'm gonna show you guys some stuff on camera and I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff the other stuff off camera so because to save time I know you guys maybe get tired of me talking so that is why I even do that oh and if you're new because I found out that we are up to 30 subscribers so if you are new welcome and i'm so happy you're here i just can't believe it 30 i never thought i'll get to like 30 and i think i'm never gonna get to 100 so just saying that okay so for today's palette one second for today's palette I want to use the Wet n Wild All Natural um, All Natural um, Palette. This is the new, the it's called the New Awakening Palette, and this is how it looks like. It's how the back looks like. It gives you like ideas for your eyeshadow, and I'm gonna open it for you guys. Um, this one broke. I think I dropped it, and. That's how it looks. It's very pretty and I love the shimmer shades. So we're going to be using that for today's video. I'm going to set my eyelid by using these. I'm going to use my LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. And if you guys, I think I never used it on my channel. But if I, if I had, then you guys know, you guys might not know that I love this. A lot and it's my favorite palettes and my favorite brand LA colors which they're going so quickly um, now they're getting out some um, what I call um, liquid lipsticks and I'm so excited to try them out so I'll be showing you guys them very soon um, so, I'm, I just want to use this palette for today's video. I don't want to use anything else. So, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a light brown, and that's going to be... I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Crease Brush, I believe that's the name of it. So, I'm going to use this brush. This brush and take that color. And pop... Ooh! Did you guys see that? It's like, so, it has a color. You guys see that? Uh, you guys see? It has like a little color. I never thought it had a little color. It has like, do you see it? It's like a brownish, mauve color. And I like, I actually do like it very nice. I actually never use this color like for the translation shade.
see it now. It's like a mauvey pink color. Well, I like it though. It's very nice. It's very pretty. I actually really do like this color. I love this color. It's so nice. And the color is just perfect. I think this is one of my favorite colors. I've been liking pink. So I like this shade. It's very nice. I wish I could leave it like this, but I want to add more shades. So for the next shade, I am going to take this burgundy color right here. I'm going to take that color on a larger crease brush. And I have been familiar with this color. I know that it's pigmented, so I'm not going to be using a lot of the color. It's 5:50 on Saturday. This go this video is going to go up um, tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm gonna darken this color a little bit more. Do you see the color? This color you can see with no problem. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to take this um, Beauty Essence Blending Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to take this and blend these shades out. So if you guys haven't noticed, I don't have a mirror covering up what I do so I just have a mirror right here so it won't be on the way of what I do for my next shade I don't know what to take okay a brush um, like this it's like it has this sh shape and it's not that thick so we're gonna take this brush and we're gonna take that color that we put on our crease and we're gonna take that color and we're gonna pop it onto the outer corner Like that so I just put it like right here you can't barely see it so I just put it like right there you see that I'm gonna apply a little bit more just so maybe you guys can see just did half of it because I feel like that looks much better. So now I'm going to take a Beauty Essence blending eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend out the shade. I don't know how to do a cut crease yet. my friend. So now I'm going to take this shade, which is I think one of my favorite shades. It's, it's not a gold color, it's like a rose gold color, but on camera, on camera, it looks rose gold. It looks gold actually. It looks gold, but I'm taking this shade and I'm gonna take my polished crease brush and I'm gonna spray my brush with some water. And I have been spraying my, my brush with water and I feel like it's more pigmented, so I cannot put like a shade without spraying it with water. So I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to start on my inner corner. So I start at my inner corner and then I bring it up to the shade. Can you see that? 
so now we are done with this eye look I feel like it's like vampy gives me like because it's like I like it um so now we're gonna move on to the um, mascara so for so for mascara I'm gonna be using the voluminous million lashes from L'Oreal this is not it's so I like the packaging and it's so sparkly so I think this is from L'Oreal mm -hmm. yeah it's from L'Oreal I just saw so this has been my favorite mascara it smells like it smells like when you smell a rose that's what it smells like so it's a pretty nice mascara when I put my mascara on I have a mirror I'll show you guys the way I'm talking about so I have a mirror and I put it like this like flat like this and I do my mascara because then I could see where my lashes are because it's more easier for me so I can see my dad is going to cut the grass right now in front of my room so I learned how to drive with a cutting machine with the wheel and um yeah and I love to drive I love to drive I I've been a little bit lazy first day of school guys forgot what school was can you see my lashes? now you can see them I do like that you can see it yeah <laughs> okay now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face so I'll be right back so to finish off the face we're gonna do our foundation so for my foundation I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Pore Poreless foundation and I'm in the shade 330 toffee caramel so yes my foundation I'm almost done with it which I'm so excited because I bought a new foundation so I'm super excited um, and I am going to be doing a review on that foundation very soon so I just wetted my beauty blender with some water and I just put it on the beauty blender and I just tap it all over the face And this foundation is a little bit orange on me, but it's okay. Because at the end, I make it work, so... See, see how dark? kind of matches my neck, but it's very dark to my skin tone. My, my face is actually like, pretty white. Because my dad's skin is white, so... a little bit more. I think this foundation is finishing. This one back is sorry. Foundation is taking this on its try. Oops, I think that was too much. Full coverage today. I almost forgot my nose. So, um, LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer in the shade Tan. So, this how it looks like. You squeeze it, and then it has this little like, thing, and then you apply the product on your. I'm gonna cover up my little pimple there okay 
Okay. So now that we are done with our, now that we are done with our face, now we're gonna, well, we're gonna do baking first. Um, for under my eyes, I've been using the um, Maybelline New York Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade light medium. My friend also gave me this, and then she gave me um, another one, which I'll show you guys later. But yeah, I've been using this under my eyes and I actually like it. It's pretty good. So I'm actually gonna take this on the same beauty blender that we use for concealer and I'm going to pop that right under my eyes. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more. And I'm also going to apply this where we concealed, so down my nose. And on my forehead and where my little pimple's at. Okay. So then to set the rest of the face, I look crazy, I know. To set the rest of the face, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline New York um, Shine Free Loose Powder, and this is in the shade Medium. So she also gave me these. And this big Wet n Wild fluffy brush. And I'm just applying this loose powder all over my face. So when I do my makeup, usually I wait and I do my eyebrows while I'm letting this sit for a while. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. If you want to learn how to do your eyebrows, check someone else's YouTube channel because... I am not the best at doing my eyebrows um so I'm sorry but I'm not good at them and my eyebrows are but I'm gonna do them off camera because also I don't want to waste any time and when I do learn how to do my eyebrows like very good like other youtubers do I will show you guys my eyebrow routine and all that but right now I'm not the best so um I'll be right back with my eyebrows just finished they're not the best eyebrows you have ever seen but there's something at least I could fill them in without making them look horrible so now that I'm done I'm gonna take off the face powder um, but not like where I'm baking so I'm gonna take the powder off my forehead and now the foundation doesn't look that dark so I make it work with the foundation I'm actually going to take the powder off in between Okay, so I just took... I left the under eye big thing, but... Because now we're going to move on to contour. So, for contour... Um, I'm going to be using, I've been using my NYC Skin, Smooth Skin Fine, Fine, um, Bronzing Face Powder. So, I'm going to show you guys here because I don't know how to say this. So, the name, and this is in the shade Sunny 720. So, I love this bronzer. I I'm not sure, but I think NYC doesn't sell anymore. I think their website is still up, but I usually buy them at Walmart, but I think they're not in Walmart anymore, so I don't know. And I'm going to be using this Mary Kay brush. 
and this is for a loose powder I just saw it on here but my mom actually gave me this so yeah when I was little she gave me this so I'm just going to clear this onto my um contour here and I already ugh, I already touched pan so that's good news for me so I'm gonna bake I don't know why I'm baking because I'm not going anywhere but I'm gonna bake so I'm gonna take my beauty blender this is one that this is the beauty blender that we use for our eyeshadow primer or concealer and I'm gonna use the bottom of it because this is perfect to go under the contour that we just did okay so ooh, okay I need to take a break I'm coming back guys there's something in my eye and I need to figure out what it is or where it's at so I'm coming back then I'm back so now I'm gonna blush I feel like my eyes gonna cry uh, I'm gonna take my wet and wild color eye on blush in the shade mellow wine this is one of my favorite blushes of all time I forgot who like showed this blush and I was like I need it and I wait so I'm gonna take this brush on my favorite um, angle brush from wet and wild and this is just my favorite brush to apply blush I just apply it Okay, so now we're going to move on to the bottom lash line. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys get a better look of what I'm going to do. So you're more than zen. So I'm, gonna sh I'm actually going to take um, the bottom of our loose powder that it's setting. So I'm going to use the Beauty Essence Kabuki brush. It's so cute and it's so soft. Okay, so now that I took that off, I am going to, I'm usually not applying any eyeshadow under my eyes because I don't feel like it and I don't, I don't feel like applying. So I'm just going to go in straight with mascara. So for mascara, okay, so for mascara today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And this is one of my favorite um, under lower lashes um, mascara for my lower lashes because they're so small. And for this part, I do a very crazy face. Okay, can you see them? Yeah, you see them now. See, they're right there. Okay, we're done with that. So we're gonna keep with the eyes. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a brow bone highlighter. So for my brow bone highlighter, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this first like pinky shade right here. So right here, it's very light. So I'm maybe using this for my brow bone highlighter. Straight up glitter. Got it on my brows. I'm gonna clean that up later. Okay, 
so now we are going to so now we're going to do the inner corner highlighter which is one of my favorite parts i feel like the inner corner like brightens up the eyes so i'm gonna take um this color from my perfusions contour palette i'm gonna take this champagne color right here so this is this shade is called champagne highlight i believe I'm going to take it with this brush. I'm going to take it and apply this right there. Oh, do you see that? It's so pretty. I actually like this brush for this inner corner highlight. It's a perfect brush. You see it? I'm gonna apply a little bit tiny more on this side so I could get the same intense. I'm gonna apply a little bit on here. Just a little bit right up on the side just to. What is that? Okay, so usually when I'm done doing my eyes, I go in with my. Um, with my LA colors, I love makeup contour palette, and I take this banana yellow shade right here. This one, I'm not sure it did. See, you see, it's this one right here. I take that shade and I apply it under my under my eyes, and I use this polish brush. This is the powder brush, and I'm gonna take this banana color and I'm gonna pop it under my eyes to brighten that up and then I apply this everywhere just to brighten up a little bit it just brings brightness you guys see how bright that is Just brightens up the face. It looks pretty nice. And I learned that from Christina Dominique. Now that we are done with the eyes, now let's move on to the last step, which is highlighter. Who doesn't love a highlighter? To be completely honest, I don't like to apply a lot of highlighter, but my favorite one is a Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade. Champagne, and I love this packaging. It gives me like I want to go to the beach now. And this is how it looks like. It smells like a sugar cookie. Oh, it smells very good. So I'm gonna take my Ultra Beauty blush brush, and this came in a little box that my friend gave me. And I'm going to take this right here. I apply it right here. Yes, see? Oh my god. So pretty. They have two more shades. They, I believe they have a pink one and a white one. So, this one is my favorite. I love it so much. And it looks very pretty on the face. Usually, when I go to the Kingdom Hall, I don't wear a lot of highlighter. But we're not going anywhere. So, we could highlight ourselves up. Okay. Then, I take a small brush. So, this brush and this brush they came together in the box and this is called the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow and a crease brush and it's a double ended brush so I take the flat side and take my same decisions for a highlighter and I go down my nose
and then I take the crease brush and I apply some on the tip of my nose. And then on my cutest brow. We like highlights up, guys. We like highlights. So well, after I apply my highlighter, um, I apply a setting spray, and I um been using the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, but I also been loving the LA Color setting spray. This is how it looks like. It's a nice bottle. This is actually my second bottle of it, and I like it. And but before we do that. I'm going to take this off because I have done that before where I spray. Okay. I'm going to spray. So right now I actually sprayed more than I usually do. So I kind of feel wet a little bit, but it's already sinking into my skin. And usually when I apply product, I tap it in with a beauty blender, but I'm not gonna do that for today's video. Just gonna let it dry. We're looking glow up. Our thing to do, um, and the last thing we're going to be doing, applying a lipstick. We're actually gonna apply a different lipstick for today's video because my favorite lipstick is actually not from the drugstore it's from Avon and I don't think Avon's a drugstore brand so I think we're gonna apply um I think I'm gonna apply my um wet and wild lipstick in the shade bear it all this is just a nude lipstick and I'm gonna apply its own to my lips so I'm gonna apply it with Okay, this is my final look, guys. So, like the lipstick, I thought in camera it doesn't look that light, but in person it looks a little bit light. But I like it. So this is the finished look. So I am just gonna, is all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had to go take a picture, edit this video upload it and then to be ready for tomorrow so this is all that i have for you guys thank you so much for watching future video um my next video might be doing a makeup tutorial in spanish i don't know yet um so i'm super excited and yeah i'll see you guys on my next video and thank you for supporting me and all that stuff so yeah see you guys bye I was taking a picture for my thumbnail and my neighbor was standing looking at me and I just and smiled and say hi because I got so embarrassed because I don't know and I was doing like faces so uh, that was so embarrassing.